Welcome to the stream, everyone out there. I'm Eddie O'Donnell here at Snow Joe, and today we're going to go through some of the auto Joe tools that we have in the lineup here, a little buyer's guide there, so you know exactly what these tools are all about. And this way you can see the kind of options that you have right here from our auto Joe lineup. Now, we launched the auto Joe lineup relatively recently here to give you everything that you need, you know, in terms of your car, in terms of getting tools that can help you with your vehicle, keeping your car running smoother, giving you the power that you need for certain things, and getting everything to work seamlessly when it comes to your vehicle in general. So we do have a great lineup of tools you can see here in front of us. And uh, if you have any questions about anything, feel free to let us know down in the chat. If you're watching on YouTube, definitely be sure to let us know in the chat. If you're watching on TikTok, definitely be sure to let us know as well. And also, don't forget to hit that follow button. If you're joining us here on TikTok, don't forget to follow the TikTok channel here. That's right. It's the Snow Joe COVID. Uh, the Snow Joe Co channel here on TikTok. Don't forget to tap in those likes. We appreciate those likes from everyone out there. So just keep tapping them in. Really do appreciate them here. On top of that, if you're watching on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe to the Go Joe channel. And don't forget to give us that thumbs up. We appreciate that thumbs up for everyone out there. Alrighty, we are going to dive into talking about the display of tools that we have here in front of us. So as you can see here, we got plenty of tools in front of us from the Auto Joe lineup. Now uh, I'm going to go through each and every one and give you that quick breakdown on what they're all about here. Now these are really great tools for getting a lot done in your car here, and you can see I've got a lot of things here. We're going to go do do sort of a quick. Um, overview here with our auto joe tools so the first couple that i have over here these are sort of partners in crime right here um, for our inflators so we have right over here down below this is our auto joe this is our compact digital inflator that we have right here um, this is a really nice built-in sort of design right here this is an all-in-one digital inflator so this powers up with its own built-in battery. That built-in battery that it has inside becomes a great way to charge up things like phones and stuff, of course. But then, of course, it's got that ability to turn on and turn it away to inflate things like your car tires, your bike tires, um, and all the other uh, and all the other inflatable goods you have in your life here. Now, we have another version of that over here, and this one's just part of our 24-volt system. So, for example, if you have a few of our 24-volt batteries in your lineup here, our AJC Max right here, which is our air drill compressor, takes our 24-volt battery system and gives you that ability to power up with that as well that's what this is all about right here to give you that extra ability to power up with that 24 volt design right there so this is going to be sort of you know depending on what you have there if you have some of our 24 volt batteries this is a great way to take one out with you so you can power everything up and inflate as well and this one right here our little compact auto inflator this is all built in together which is a nice little universal design right there so Taking a step from that here, what we have over here as we're moving to the right here is an amazing jump starter right here. So this is a 12-volt DC jump starter that we have right here, our AJS 8000. This is a powerful compact tool here to get your car jump started, to get any vehicle jump started with that 12-volt battery system. It has a bevy of other uses built into it. And again, one of the things that we're taking advantage of here is this is a tool that has that built-in battery, which means that we can take that battery power and we can use it for other things. So for example, whether it's the flashlights that are built in here or whether we want to use it to charge other devices devices there. So really nice of the jump starter here. We're going to go back into every every one of these tools that we have here in a little bit. But the next one that we have over here is kind of a cool one. I think one that people might be a little bit surprised about. This is what we call our dryer inflator right here. This is essentially a big, powerful air gun right here. This gives us about a 550 watt motor there to pump out a ton of air. And what this is, is for helping dry your car. Now, when it comes to your vehicles, one of the important things that you want to do is you want to keep things like water spots and water stains out of the way there. And one of the great things about something like this here is going to give you that air cleaning power to pull that to pull those water uh, water drops away so particularly when it comes to things like your mirrors and stuff like that as you're cleaning them up if you want to get that water staining off of there this is a perfect accessory for that side windows and all that kind of stuff as well on top of that it's really great for cleaning a lot of different things out with the brush nozzles that it comes with there to get into tight areas and to blast away any dust particularly things that you might have in your fan or anything like that and on top of that of course you can use the output on this as an incredible air inflator for any of your inflatable goods things like those inflatable pool toys and stuff like that so when you keep this in the car it's not just for the car it's for a lot of different things that you want to get that inflation going with really cool with this design right here nice little tool that we have here and powerful little compact tool here now, over here, as you can see, we do have a collapsible trunk organizer. This is probably one of my favorite things that we have here in the Auto Joe lineup. We're going to talk about all the different bells and whistles that this has built into it, but definitely one of those important tools to have to keep your car organized. Definitely like that. Now, speaking of keeping the vehicles organized there, what we also have right over here is our Auto Joe Vac. And this little pouch right here is our awesome 12 volt, uh, 12 volt vacuum right here that gives us that ability to power up and clean up in our car there. And we'll start off talking about this today and then we're gonna go through all these different items here one by one. So 
really love the fact that we have all these different options here to get work done when it comes to keeping our cars looking great here. In fact, what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to grab most of this stuff here. I'm going to pack it in to our, uh, to our collapsible organizer. We'll take a look at that in just a second right here but there's all the inflator attachments here you can see all these have wonderful different uh, all of these have wonderful different uh setups here to help us get things done when it comes to our car here so you can drop in our jump starter right there love the fact that we have this variety of toolage right here as well you know it's nice to have so many options here when it comes to getting things done with your car it's nice to have those options to keep things in your car so that you can get a lot of stuff done here so continue to pull some of this away over here Stack that back there. And for our last little inflator here, we'll stack this one over here for now. So in the meantime, let's take a quick look at our uh, at our uh, at our car cleaning device right here. This is our auto gym back here. So in this pouch that we have right here, um, this is a really nice way to get a lot of cleaning done in your vehicle right here, whether it's a vehicle like this or a vehicle like anything else there. Now, all we have to do is unzip that pouch. And in here, we have a bunch of great things. We, of course, have a vacuum hose. We have a vacuum crevice tool. We have a HEPA filter here, one of two actually, a little filter cleaner there. We have a brush nozzle and we have the auto Joe vac itself. And then of course that pouch houses everything in it. This is what I like, that pouch, great way to keep everything together. You don't have to worry about anything, um, you know, scrambling around on the floor, scrambling through a glove box or anything like that. Oh, great to see Hunter in the chat here. Um, Hunter Lewis in the chat there on, uh, on TikTok there. Appreciate you saying hi, appreciate you sending those likes. I really do appreciate that from everyone out there. And everyone out there, if you are enjoying us talking about that Auto Joe lifestyle right here with our car tools right here, just like the Auto Joe vac, send in those likes, tap in those likes. We really do appreciate them. Same thing if you're watching on YouTube, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Join us for more of these shows. Don't forget to say hi in the chat. And of course, if there's any questions you have, anything you want to let us know, say hi in the chat. Let us know. So, you know, ask that question. Say hi. We love hearing from you folks out there. Alrighty. So with our Auto Joe Vac that we have right here, we have a powerful way to clean up in the car. Now, what I really like about this design here, it's a powerful motor that we have in here. It's a 90 watt motor for a super lightweight vac. Seven ounce capacity on the head right there. We can actually take that off. And that's how we're going to empty things out here. Built-in HEPA filter here, but here's what's really cool. We can actually take that HEPA filter out, and this is a cleanable, washable HEPA filter that we have here that we can also tie in to another HEPA filter, meaning that if we clean one HEPA, HEPA filter, we can actually use the other one while the other one's getting clean. So, for example, here we can pop this one in, go off and wash that one up, and we can slide that in right there. So, nice, easy setup here with the Auto Joe Vac to get a lot of vacuuming done right here. You've got a lot of cord here as well. You got 16 feet of extension cord here. You can see that's all wrapped up here with a 12 volt receptacle on the end here. So, this is that you know port that you're going to see on your car that we plug things like our car chargers and stuff like that into, things like our phone chargers and all that. This is what plugs into that same area right there. So, really nice way to power this back up with that 12 volt receptacle because everyone has that in their car ready to power up there love the setup that you have here with that this is a nice and easy way to get things going there a lot of power in that 90 watt motor here in the vacuum as well and then of course with that we have a bunch of accessories here so for example for cleaning our hepa filter we do get a little brush here so a little bristle brush that you see right there and of course with that we get that nice little way to brush in those pleats there as well as using the little uh, little pleat uh, grabber there on the other end there to get into those tight spots on your pleats to clean that out like having that there really nice way to get a lot of cleaning done on those filters love having that option to clean one filter out while you're using the other one here now you also get this hose here. This is a nice hose to attach into the vac here. It just slots right in just like that, which is really nice and easy there. And that gives you a great way to get into all those other places in your car that you might not be able to get into with the rest of the vac here. So that hose slots in there. On the end of the hose, you can tie in things like your crevice tool and of course your brush nozzle here. And here's what's great about that is that this is gonna fit perfectly on that hose there. But you can also have this fit perfectly into the mouth of the vac. Everything is stackable in whatever direction you want here. Whether you want just the brush nozzle there, whether you want the crevice tool, there whether you want the uh whether you want the, the crevice tool and then the hose that all helps to stack together there with that nice design because of that sliding design that we have on here so really like that capability that you have with this to easily get a lot of different things going with this amazing vac so you can get the perfect type of vacuuming that you want for your car so all of this together here, really great kit there. You can head over to snowjoe.com. You can take a look at this in the Auto Joe section that we have there. Take a look at this as well. That's probably one of my favorite things about this. Everything that you need here to vacuum up, if you have any you know, spills or anything like that, all you got to do is plug this in to your 12-volt receptacle. We don't have a car in here, but we do have a, uh, we do have a battery converter right here. 
That's right. This is actually pretty cool. This is part of our this is part of our sort of outdoor living uh, lineup right here. This is our PP. Uh, this is our PPG 400 right here. This is a powerful, powerful portable generator design that we have right here. Here's what's great about this. Here, it actually has a built-in 12 volt receptacle to it. So if you have any of those car chargers or car tools, just like this back here, you can actually plug directly into it here. So we can plug that in there. We can turn this on here. And turn that on right there and you can hear that vac power on with that 90 watt motor right there so you can see here this is easy to power on and you go anywhere with the car and to vacuum up any spilled messes so for example um we have any spilled messes like i have a little bit of stuff that i can make a mess with over here and we can take a quick look at that right here so here's some here's some crumbs or some bird seed in this particular case here but imagine it is crumbs you take a look at that little pile of crumbs right there you take a look at how easy it is to tackle with this vacuum for you for the folks on youtube we can get nice and close up here with our camera and of course if you enjoy seeing this if you enjoy seeing this sort of satisfying type of content right here don't forget that like button but you can see right here turn that on right there just like that it's going to very easily pick up that's a lot of pretty heavy bird seed right there a lot of big pieces there very easily picks that kind of stuff up there and you can see right there it all stores in that nice little capsule there so really nice and easy with this to get a lot of vacuuming done i actually really like how easy that is in general and how quick that is to do so really great design with this you can hear it's nice and quiet as well um, and a lot of power that you have there with that vac and then of course when you're done with it not only do you get to empty that out but also you can pack it all up into this little pouch right here. So you can open up the pouch just like so. You can uh, leave that mouth of the pouch there properly open here. We can feed in one end of the vacuum right here. And then we can take the cord here. We can plug, the, put the rest of that in there. We can take our little attachments here. We can slide those in. Even the extra HEPA filter will fit in here, which is really nice. You know, particularly if you aren't, if you, if you know, if you aren't cleaning it um, and, or if you finished cleaning it already. Now we can put in that crevice tool take the hose that goes nicely right on top right there you can lay this all down here and zip all of that up really quickly here look at that nice perfect little setup there for the pouch there really nice and easy with this vacuum design right here i almost forgot that uh filter brush right there slide that right in there we go and you're good to throw this in something like your glove box the back of the seat you know into the trunk of the car you don't have to go fishing for all those little uh you know accessories that you have there all those little parts that you have there you know you don't have to you don't want to open up a glove box and just find a bunch of bit of, bit of bits of accessories there go to the garage you see a drawer full of accessories you don't know what they're for this is all going to stay together and be perfect to use here so i definitely really love that design here really makes it an easy way to get a lot of vacuuming done here love this is perfect for the car perfect for any of those spills that you might have you know for example you're eating a cheeseburger on the road you get those uh you get those crumbs all over yourself you want a vacuum that you can have with you when you're driving around not so that you have to go back to the home and plug into the wall or something like that be next to an outlet or pay at a you know gas station or anything like that you can stay plugged right into your car keeping that vacuum going with this design here not to mention too if you got kids in the back seat dog in the back seat perfect way to keep the car looking clean here so definite must have for your car in my opinion there now, put this off to the uh, to the back table over here. We're gonna keep talking about some of the other things that you might that we might want want in our cars to keep clean with with our organizer here. Now, before we dive into it, I do want to say if you're enjoying this kind of stuff, you love hearing from us, if you love hanging out with us here live, go ahead, tap in those likes if you're watching on TikTok. We really do appreciate them here. Um, and don't forget if you're watching on YouTube, give us that thumbs up. We do appreciate that as well. Don't forget to subscribe on YouTube if you're watching the Go with Joe channel, or if you're on TikTok, go ahead and follow us at the Snow, at the Snow Joe Co channel there as well. Now we're gonna pick this up right here. This is a really cool one here. This is our trunk organizer right here, a collapsible design, our collapsible car organizer right here. Now. What is great about this, of course, is keeping your car looking nice and tidy here. And here's what's great about this design in general. This is a collapsible design, meaning that it's going to take up less space when you don't want it to take up space. And it's going to take up more space when you need it to so that you can fill it up with stuff here. And as you can see here, we shoved uh, a bunch of the accessories that we have um, or the bunch of the, a bunch of the tools that we're going to talk about next into here. So we're going to just put these off to the side here for now. Yet, uh, yeah, we'll just stack all this stuff up over to the side here for now because we're just going to talk about this collapsible trunk organizer right here. And I absolutely love this. This is definitely one of those things that I think is, is perfect to have in the car. You know, I'm a big fan of keeping the car looking organized. And then, of course, when the car is organized, it's nice to always be able to find what you need there. So this amazing organizer right here is a folding collapsible design right here. So, for example, as you can see here, this folds up into a nice compact shape here when you want it to. That's right, so we can stash that all together, fold this all up nice and tightly here, and it even has little bandies on the ends right here so you can actually tie things together. So for example, um, there's a little rubber band here and a, little, a, little, a couple of little toggles right here 
and those toggles can snap in there and get things held together just like so. So you can either use one toggle to hold one end, or you can use two toggles to hold uh, to hold uh, both ends in. And we can take a close up look at that right here. It's really nice and easy to do this here. All you have to do is slide that toggle through that loop just like that. You see that can hold that end together just like that. We can go on the other side right here, and we can either do up one side or we can do up the other side. This is the great thing here because this becomes a very versatile tool here. Let me undo these toggles here because now what we can do is we can pick whether or not we want that full width opening right here or whether we want one section collapsed or maybe we want the other section collapsed so we can get that nice perfect fit for everything that we're doing here. And on this, of course, we have a bunch of different sort of design features here that help us with how we keep things packed together. Of course, up front over here, we have a couple of pouches here. So we have something like we have our nice little uh, nice little open pouch right here. Great for notepads, great for pens and things like that to be stashed in there. You can open this up right here. We've got a nice closed pouch, perfect for any other valuable items that you want to keep in there. On the inside sort of uh, bearings over here, we have uh, we have a nice little divider here. So we have our half uh, we have our half center divider right there. So that gives us an option to be in you know one bay or the other bay. Here's what's also great about this is that we actually come with this nice little folding bottom right here. So this is really great because this is what help keeps things. This is what's going to help keep things open here. For example. Let's say we want to use both sides of this collapsible organizer. You can see right here, this thing is ready to fold up right here. Well, with this in here, what we can do is we can slide this in for both sides here, just like that. And that plops into the bottom and that holds everything open just like that. So you can see in the bottom right there, that holds everything open there. If we want to just use one side of our, of, of our divider right here, we can either flip up one side like this, or we can take the whole thing out and fold it in half just like that and slide, slide it in to one side of this. So one side collapses and the other side doesn't. Great to have it for that as well. Take the whole thing out and put that over the center divider just like so. And now you can fold the whole thing up without it taking up any space at all. So really nice to be able to have those kinds of options right there with this design here. Now, in this case here, we're going to keep things fully open. Love having the design, the, the, this, uh, this setup here in that full scale there because that means we can fit a lot of stuff in here. Take a look at this. In this section over here is really, really cool. You actually have this little flap here. And I know it's all black on the inside there, but let's take a close up look at that over here. You can see here, there's actually a little divider right here. This flap here actually has a couple of snaps on it. Those snaps are gonna allow it to snap into this area here. So now we have a double divider here. So we have an area right up here where we can hold some items there if we want. So we can actually really begin to organize this out into a bunch of different sections here. And of course, on this side, you can see we have those mesh pouches here, nice slim mesh pouches for a lot of different things there. And of course, on this side over here, we have large mesh pouches right there. So two large mesh pouches over there. Now, on either side here, you've seen these hooks that have been floating around here. Now, this is really nice here. These are a couple of important hooks right here. First off, if you've got this in your trunk and you're worried about this sliding around and taking and, you know, knocking into a bunch of stuff there, these hooks here will snap onto the sides there. And these hooks actually have these hooks actually have little belt straps on them. So these actually lock into place at different tightnesses there. So you can actually strap this into place here with that locking connector there. The other great thing about these hooks right here is that for these hooks, you can throw them together here. If you want to tote things around just like that, it becomes a great way to tote everything that's in there. And of course, if you are picking this up to tote it here, here's what's also great. Of course, it comes with side carrying handles so you can pick that up there and you can tote that around wherever you need here. So this becomes a really, really perfect way to keep everything in your car organized. I'd like, you know, a lot of folks like to keep these in their front seats, you know, right next to them. So it has, they have everything, you know, in sort of a, in, you know, uh, you know, right next to them as they need it, depending on the kind of work that you do. For example, if you drive, um, if you're driving a work vehicle, this is great to have all your office supplies and things like that in there. Great to keep in the trunk though, of course, you know, in the trunk, one of the things that I like here is that of course you can keep things like the important stuff that you have, you know, um, great to keep things like tools and all that kind of stuff that you keep in the trunk, things like your inflators and all that kind of stuff, all the other auto Joe equipment that you might have in your car could store perfectly in something like this. Um, the other thing that I like having in here, again, you know, depending on what you use your car for, and a lot of us, we spend a lot of time in our cars. It's great to have everything that we need back there, re you know, ready to go sort of stuff there. Things like sunscreen, sunblock, maybe you're going to the beach or something like that. This is a perfect way to load up all that stuff that you need to keep in the car for the beach. And then once you're done, you can kind of take this with you, you know, even if you're not going to use these locking straps right here, what's great about having these hooks on either side, you can attach a shoulder strap to this. So grab a shoulder strap from a bag, throw it over your shoulder and walk it over wherever you need need there. Really great little system here. Definitely love our little collapsible organizer. I love the fact that it folds up flat so you can store it, you know, where you keep your spare tire kind of thing. This is just a perfect little system we have right here. So absolutely love that. Check it out. It's on snowjo.com. You can head over. It's ATJCTSO-BLK. Really cool tool that we have right here. Definitely one of my favorites here. Big fan of organizing that vehicle and keeping things looking great back there. Now, 
we're gonna keep going with keeping that car looking good right here. This is a really cool one that we have here, and I think one that I think a lot of folks out there might have some questions about. We have a 550 watt air blaster that we have right here, and you know what is the air blaster for? So this is a way to dry off your car. And this is a way to inflate goods. This is a way to clean your car as well. What we have is sort of a multi-purpose air blaster design that we have right here, and we have a couple of different attachments that go along to really tailor it to those different uses there. So. For example, the first thing that we're going to, you know, talk about with this is drying our cars off. And, you know, why do we want a, you know, powerful way to air dry our cars here? And we have this nice big wide flange nozzle right here that ties on to the front of it here. We can plug this in for the power here. Um, and we do want that corded power for this, particularly for that 550 watt motor. There, super powerful motor here. And then on top of that, a lot of function here. So... If we take a nice zoom in on our little uh, on our little display car that we have right here, I think a lot of folks will notice we have areas that have what, what are on them, what we would know as water spots. And it may be hard to see on camera, but I can tell you, I can see them in person here. Now, generally speaking, you know, things like, you know, your car paint job and stuff like that, of course, you know, if you get water spots in there, it's going to be a shame, but it's not going to be that at the end of the world. The real danger is going to be things like your mirrors. So your side mirrors and your side windows here and stuff like that. You need to be able to see through those areas there, and you don't want those water spots gumming it up. So with something like this right here, what you have is two speeds coming out of this. You have a high airflow coming out of here with that number two right here. So this two and a one on the switch over here. And with the number two here, you're going to get a high 66 CFM coming out of here. Now, what does that mean? CFM is cubic feet per minute. That's how much air you're pouring out here. So you're not just moving a lot of, you're not just moving a lot of air quickly. You're moving a ton of air in general here. So you turn that on and you can feel that power up and get a lot of air going. It's like a cold blow dryer here. You can see it's enough air to move this car along the table here because we've got all that power there to get going. So you can see right there, we've got that moving there with that power. Now we go all the way down to the low mode here. We're doing six and a half. This is six and a half CFM right there. A still a lot of air, so you got a lot of stuff dried up with. Now, essentially, what this is is a cold air dryer right here. So whether you're drying, you know, your hair or something like that, and you could use this to dry your hair if you want. Though uh, you have a lot of air flowing through it, it's going to help dry the car out. That's also going to help stop those water droplets that do end up on things like your mirrors from causing those issues. So. <clears throat> Nice to have that nice wide nozzle that covers a large amount of space there with this design. Now, on top of that, what you can also use this for is cleaning. So what we also have are a couple of nozzle attachments right here. So first one we have right here is sort of a medium-sized nozzle attachment right there. And that ties into the front right there very nicely and easily. And with that, of course, we also have a little brush here. So you can see we could use this without the brush. We can use it with the brush. This gets into a lot of tight spaces, you know, underneath door handles and stuff like that. If you have gunk or grime that's stuck there, that brush is going to help knock that away. And, of course, that high power speed that's coming out of here is going to help scrub any of that up so really nice to clean those areas that you might have where a lot of gunk may be you know like i said underneath door handles and stuff like that that you might not be used to getting stuff out there now here's what's also great this comes with a little needle tool so you can see nice tight nozzle right here this comes to a very small tip there and that slides into this needle extension right here once again that has a brush nozzle as an option here. we can slide all of that on there and now if you have parts like your fans and you know the ac system in your car where there's dust and debris in those tight areas around where you know, the cup the corner of your cup holders and stuff are and you want to blast debris out of there this is a perfect way to scrub all that area up and get into those tighter areas that you wouldn't normally be able to get into. In this case, for our little uh, for our little display car, this is perfect for blasting out any of that debris in our little you know display toy car here. And that's exactly what this is for for cleaning those areas out with that small lightweight design here. So we can take all of those off there. And then, of course, here's sort of the obvious. And this is sort of one of those things that I love about this is that, you know, we don't let anything to chance here with a tool like this. We know that we're pushing out a lot of air here. So we know we had to add in inflator nozzles here. Now, these aren't just for any inflator nozzles. This is a three-pack of the most common sizes that you're going to find for those inflatable goods, things like inflatable couches, inflatable furniture. So if you're going camping, if you're going uh, out to the beach or anything like that, you have, you know, blow up things for the pool, blow up things for the beach, blow up things for like a blow up mattress. If you're going camping or anything like that, this is the perfect little accessory right here. Cause take a look at this. All you have to do is slide in any of these nozzles here. And you can see right there, we've got that small tip right over here. That smaller tip right there. We've got a medium tip over here. And then we've got the large one inch tip over here. All of these slide on just like that. And you can see all of these have that nice tapered or has to have that nice tailored connection together so these are all tied together here so you never lose one 
slide them all on just like that there and now you can use this to inflate whatever you want there with that design so this is great for inflating any of those pool toys and stuff like that before you head off on a trip there love having this in the kit here really cool little tool right here this is our abd1 this is our auto joe um dryer and inflator there really cool design with this one to get a lot of air flowing out there a lot of great power that you have with this and a great value as well now check this out on snowjoe.com it's a great deal for this amazing tool right here really cool one to add in to your car's setup right there all right we're gonna throw this down into our organizer over here Plop that all down there. Love the fact that we've got the organizer over here. That's a great way to keep everything in the studio here organized. And we're going to talk about the next uh, tool here for our car, but we're going to go under the hood with this one right here because this is our AJS 8000. Now, the AJS 8000 you see right here is our jump starter. This is a completely cordless jump starter that we have right here and a perfect tool for everyone to have in their car, particularly if you live here on the uh, sort of on the East Coast. You know about those cold weather sort of times that you have there in general. Having a little jump starter right here is a super powerful proposition. So, in this case right here, what we have is a powerful 500 amp jump starter right here so it's going to power up your cars power up trucks and no problem at all um, and what's great about this is that we have that ability to power up that vehicle directly from this tool we don't need anything else separate you know to power up our car we just plug this in here you can see over here on the side we have a nice little control panel here we get nice and close up on that so people can see this as i open this up here you can see on the inside right there we have a bunch of different ports here so with those ports, what we have here is a nice little set of jumper cables. This is the jumper system right here for our jump starter here. We can turn this on by hitting that bottom button just like that. That's going to turn on the little battery charger indicator right there. We can plug in our jumper system right here. And then we're going to be able to plug directly in to the line and the, to the positive and neutral segments of our battery there to jump start them. Now, personally, I'm a big fan of plugging in one to the positive terminal on the battery and then one to the frame of the car, whatever's grounded on the car. Um, that's one of the good ways to do it. Or, of course, you can do positive and negative terminals. This will be fine with both of those as to charge up that battery to give it that kickstart to get that motor to turn over here. So. That's because this has a built-in 3,700 milliamp battery in here. Now, what's also great about this is that that battery can be used for other things. On that side panel here, we have multiple connections here. We have a USB-A. Uh, we have actually two USB-A uh, outputs right here, as well as a DC 12-volt output here, meaning that anything that you want to power up, like your phone, other things, this is going to be able to plug directly into this and give you that running battery. Now, here's what's also great about this, is that this comes with a built-in set of lights here. So, for example, we can turn that on, and we've got that nice little panel light great as a wand light great to see in the dark there also what's great about this adjustable with the head here so you can adjust this as you position this as needed here now what's great about this as well turns into a nice road flare light here so this is to help let people people know that stuff might be wrong on the road there got the flasher built into it as well to let people know and grab attention when you need it if something's gone wrong on the road there and of course we've also got our regular flashlight in the bottom of this as you can see here this is shaped like a flashlight so it's very comfortable to hold in your hand there so very comfortable to shine that light when needed there and then of course we've got an sos light here three slow three fast three slow or three fast three slow three fast there for our uh, sos signaling right there now you can turn that all off and that all happens the switch of the button right here but depending on what you're using here for example let's say you're using that uh, you're using that wand light there and you want to shine it down on top of something the base of this right here magnetic so you can shine this down directly on what you're working on maybe you're working on the hood uh maybe you're working literally under the hood of your car there you want to magnetize this directly to that you want to adjust the angle of this for whatever you're looking at there and you are good to go maybe you want to attach it to a crossbar maybe you want to attach it to a beam whatever it may be you have the ability to adjust this maybe you want to attach it to the side of your car like so and you can adjust that down as needed as a little work light there love the capability to do that now on top of that too if you bring this over into flashlight mode and you realize to yourself, hey, listen, you know, I want to hang this from something. Oh, would you look at that little hanging strap built into the top end of this so you can hang this down as a little lantern light. Let's say you're trapped in your car for a little while just because the power is out or something like that, and you want to be able to hang out with it. Great way to hang that up right there is using that strap. Now, to charge this back up, you actually get two charging capabilities right here. You do have one, which is a charging cord for USB, and one, which is a 12-volt charging cord that plugs into that 12-volt receptacle in your car. Really great way to charge it back up and get you powered up when you need it. Love having that around. Really nice design with that. 
that. Love this little jump starter kit right here. Really takes a lot of questions out of getting your car going right there. Love the fact that we've got all that power built into it and we've got that ability to get all the functions out of this right here. Really love also having that extra battery capability in here. Makes this really useful here. And you gotta love the fact that it is magnetic right there to stick on whatever you need there. Absolutely love having that around. So check that out. Head over to snowjoe.com. You can check that out right there. Folks, if you're having fun here, if you have any questions, let us know down in the chat. Give us those thumbs up as well. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to follow us on TikTok as well. That's right on TikTok. If you're watching there, Snow Joe Co., hit that follow button. Don't forget also, if you have any questions, let us know down in the chat and tap in those likes, send those likes in here. We've got a lot of fun here, always hanging out with you folks live here every single day. Let's take a look at the next item that we're going to talk about here. Um, and the next two, I think that we should sort of talk about at the same time because these are sort of real partners in crime right here. We have our 24 volt inflator right here, as well as our awesome built in inflator here. I should say all in one sort of compact inflator right here. So really great system that we have here. These are both digital inflators here. So these are both set it and forget it style inflators. Whether you want to set something on the screen of this to a certain PSI, or for example, in the case of our, our little compact digital inflator right here, this actually has those different settings that we can cycle through to give us those different options right there. Now, uh, as you can see right here, because this one is a built-in design right here, built-in LED light up on the top, nice short lead-in hose there, but perfect for your tires there with an air chuck, comes with a bunch of different nozzles here, and they both come with tapered nozzles as well as bike, adap bike adapter nozzles there, as well as pin nozzles for your, uh, for your sports balls here. Now with this as well, you can see on the screen here, we have an auto sensing system here. So when you put this up to a tire, when you put this up to, uh, when you put this up to a ball or whatever it is that you want to fill up here, we have two symbols. On one side of the LED screen here, we've got our symbol for what we're filling up. This says car tire right here. You can actually tab that through to uh, bike tire, to uh, motorcycle tire, to uh, basketball right there. So this actually gives us all those options right there from this. So nice to have all those different settings right there available to us. We also have that ability to manually set things up and down with the up and down switch over here. And then of course, to power things up here, we just turn this on and plug this in directly. And it's going to do the work for us as soon as it detects that it needs to fill something up. Now, here's the other great thing about this. With this, we have this light here built in. SOS light function built, function built into it. You can see right there, we can tab right through all of those, as well as the fact that we have multiple outputs for this in terms of the battery. This does have have a built-in battery to it right here. And as you can see right here, we're talking about a 2000 milliamp battery right there. I want to make sure I get that number right so everyone knows how long this is going to last. Here's what's great about this though. Built-in USB and USB-C charging for the output on this. Amazing way to charge everything back up. And of course you can charge this up with that USB-C charging capability there as well. Now, if you want to make this any smaller here, this is really compact. You can actually undo the hose up here up top Really nice with that because this does come in a nice little uh, sleeve here. You can actually keep that all together. It takes up super, super little space right here. You can see how little of space this is all going to take up right here, particularly when you put, put it in that plush sleeve that it comes with there. So I love this one here for that compact design there. And it is powerful enough to do all the things that you want it to, you know, again, tackling your car tires, ca tackling your truck tires, your inflatable sports balls, all that kind of stuff. Now this right here is our 24 volt version here. So this, for example, is a little compact one for that built-in setup there and up to 140 PSI. In this case right here, what we have is up to 150 PSI. And this is powered up with our 24 volt battery. The main difference between the two are 24 volt battery ones can go a little faster because of that 24 volt battery behind it, that larger 24 volt, 24 volt design right there. It's going to give it a lot more air, a lot faster here. What's also great about this is that it's the same 24 volt battery system that ties into the rest of our 24 volt lineup. So we're talking about things like our other 24 volt tools, drills, drivers. We're talking about things like uh, the tools that we use for our yard and garden chainsaws, blowers, and all that kind of stuff. So if you have any of our 24 volt batteries tying into this here, it's going to be very easy. In fact, it's as simple as taking that battery and sliding it into the base just like, well, not like that. Don't throw it on the table right there, but just like that. There you go. Simple, easy to do. Now, here's what's great about this is that with this inflator right here, you have that nice standing position right here. It stands up by itself. You got a 12-inch lead-in hose. You get the same air chuck on the end here with all the nozzles attached. You have a pin nozzle, a tapered nozzle, as well as a bike tire adapter right here, all attached on here. You've got your screen on the back. This is going to give you that ability to select that PSI. You can actually change the PSI setting here. So it's not just pressure for PSI. It's also barometric pressure or kilopascals, 
depending on where you are. So nice to have that choice. This has a single trigger auto detecting push as well. So it's really nice that both of these are automatically going to fill up and then they're just going to stop as soon as they're fully filled. Really love the setup on both of these right here. You've got a little bit faster coming out of your air, your, uh, your, uh, your uh, rapid inflator out of here. But the other thing that you do have is that interchangeable battery capability here. So for example, this comes with one of our 1.3 amp hour batteries here. Well, let's say about halfway through that job, you're like, hey, listen, I want to swap out batteries because I've got a bigger one over here, like our two amp hour battery. You can lock that into here as well. Well, what's great about this here, easy to swap those batteries, particularly while you're doing the work there. But this one right here, there is no swapping of the batteries. But as you can see right here, the main difference between these is this is much more portable. So that's why we have the two options here. This ties into our 24 volt system. This is a built in portable way that also gives you that built in battery design here. Absolutely love having this around. Really great setup for that Auto Joe inflator right there. So definitely worth taking a look over on, uh, def definitely worth taking a look at them over on snowjoe.com. So folks, this has been a really fun time being able to chat about our Auto Joe lineup there. You can head over to snowjoe.com. You can take a look at all the Auto Joe tools that we have over there. Got a lot of different options there when it comes to doing everything for your car. Not to mention right now is time to clean our cars. So when it comes to things like that air blower right there, as well as uh, things like our pressure washers there, you're going to want to head over there, take a look. One of the new things that we've added to our lineup to get our cars looking sparkly clean there is, of course, our slick products lineup there. So you're going to want to take a look at those as well. So head over to snowjoe.com. Check it all out, folks. And folks, if if you've had fun here, let us know in the chat there. If you're watching on YouTube, give us that thumbs up. If you're watching on TikTok, tap in those likes. We do appreciate them out there from everyone. And don't forget to follow and subscribe. That's right. If you're on YouTube, subscribe to the Go With Joe channel. That's right. If you're on TikTok, hit that follow button. Join us at Snow Joe Co. and vice versa. If you want to flop over to the other platforms, we love hearing from you either way. We always have fun here getting to talk about these tools here, folks. And if you do want to talk about more tools and have some more fun, be sure to head over to snowjoe.com um, and be sure to head over to Amazon Live as well, where we have the live show on Amazon on where we talk about the tools and the deals we have over there. But of course, over here, you're able to take a look at the deals we talk about on snowjoe.com. Take a look at our Auto Joe deals. Don't forget right now, we have a buy one, get one 24-volt deal on, on snowjoe.com right now, meaning that you get, a, you get a tool and you're going to get a free battery with that tool by itself. That's right. Great deal going on right now. Head over to snowjoe.com for that deal while you can. And don't forget, every single day, we have a Joe's Steal of the Day. That's a great deal going on just for the day. You're going to dive over to snowjoe.com. Take a look at what that is. All right, folks, thank you so much for joining us here, and we will see you all in the next stream.